The first Tejas Mark 1A flying test bed was supposed to conduct its first flight in June, which has been delayed further, mainly due to the delay in the delivery of important components from abroad. The first flying test bed is now expected to conduct its first flight in the coming weeks, while another Tejas Mark 1 aircraft will also be used as a second flying test bed for the Mark 1A program. HAL has committed to start delivery of 83 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft from March 2024 onwards till 2028. The DRDO has successfully tested the indigenously developed cannon-launched laser-guided anti-tank guided missile from the Arjun main battle tank, that successfully defeated the mock target at minimum ranges of 1.5 km with textbook precision. The indigenous laser-guided ATGM was earlier tested for its maximum range of 5 km in October 2020. It employs a tandem heat warhead to defeat explosive reactive armor protected armored vehicles. While the missile is currently being tested from the Arjun tank, it can also be fired from other platforms like the T-90. The Indian Army has issued a request for information to procure 4,800 new sniper rifles with telescopic sights, and 78 lakh rounds of ammunition from Indian companies. The request for information specifies that the .338 caliber sniper rifles should have an effective range of over 1,200 meters, along with the .338 Lapier Magnum high-powered cartridges. The deal will be worth around 460 crores and the request for proposal to Indian vendors will be issued around September, while the selected vendor must start deliveries within six months of signing the contract. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders Limited held the key laying ceremony for the fourth frigate of Project 17A of the Indian Navy. Under Project 17A, Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders will construct four frigates, while Garden Reach Shipbuilders will construct three frigates, with integrated construction technology that reduces the build period of warships. The P-17A class frigates are being built using indigenously developed steel, and fitted with weapons and sensors along with an integrated platform management system, and the indigenous content of these frigates will be around 75%. The Ministry of Defence and the Indian Navy have issued a request for information to procure 40 units of naval ship-borne unmanned aerial systems, that can be launched from naval ships, and will be used for surveillance, signal intelligence, target acquisition and reconnaissance, and building maritime domain awareness around a task group. It must have a minimum endurance of more than 10 hours with a basic payload, and loitering capability at 5,000 feet at 100 km range in basic configuration. Vasishta Research Private Limited has secured a grant from the DRDO for development of a solid propellant machining robot, that has been sanctioned under the Technology Development Fund, which authorizes grants of 10 crore rupees for development. Solid propulsion rockets form the backbone of any tactical and strategic missile defense, and is also used in space launch vehicles as first stage and booster rockets. Indian Navy's stealth frigate INS Satpura has arrived at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, to participate in the RIMPAC-22 exercise hosted by the US Navy, which is one of the largest multilateral naval exercise in the world, in which around 25,000 personnel from across 26 countries are set to participate. India has also dispatched a P-8 time maritime patrol aircraft for the naval exercise, that will span over six weeks of intense operations and training. Oh, my God.